Hey, this is Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll. And there was a children's book called uh, something like uh, Things Always Change and That's Okay. And uh, today I'm standing in front of a, an a iconic American landmark, the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. And one thing we, we know in, in the turf grass profession that things do change over time. They always have changed, they always will change as far as management practices, uh, pest problems, all that sort of thing. In my career, I've seen a lot of changes, a lot of changes in the pests we have to deal with. And there are a lot of reasons for that changes in weather, changes in pesticides, changes in mowing heights, fertility programs, all that sort of thing. But uh, I stand here because it reminds me of that. Uh, back in 1870, this lighthouse was built all 200 feet and 6,000 tons of it, and it was located 1,500 uh, feet from the ocean. In the 1990s, uh, it suddenly was only about 120 feet from the ocean because of erosion, because of changes in currents, everything else impacted its location. And even though the design and engineering of its foundation was remarkable for the 1870s, it had to be relocated. So somehow uh, engineers designed a plan that they could raise this up and they moved it 2,500 feet uh, inland to this current location back in 1999 to, to preserve it for future generations. But uh, this change that we saw it's a, it's, a, it's a change that's been happening and it happens in nature and we see the same thing in turf grass management. And if you're still doing things the way you were 30 years ago, uh, you need to really get with the program because things have changed and they've changed dramatically. And you always need to be planning for that. And you may have the best plan in the world, but 10 years from now, it probably needs to be modified some. So I uh, hope that helps. Uh, be talking to you again soon. Uh, signing off from uh, Cape Hatteras, North Carolina.